Hey everybody, it's Joel Hoekster of Whitesnake. I'm here to play the new song from my project, Joel Hoekster's 13 Finish Line. I hope you dig it. <laughs>
let's take a look at this solo from Finish Line. What I'm starting out with here is soloing over the changes from the verse with basically the A5 chord to the A flat 5 dyad to I guess you could either call that an A4 or a, basically a D over A, however you're looking at it. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to take a A minor pentatonic string skipping lick here. For that, I always tend to think these three notes per string. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm taking G, A, and C. So I'm thinking 12, 14, 17 on the G. Okay, now the first thing is to get used to that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pluck with my middle finger to get a nice accent and hopefully mute this a bit. So it's really just a pentatonic lick at the end of the day here. What I'm doing is I'm getting the accent on the high E coming back down. And I bar for that note. So my pinky flattens out to... So we start... At the Technically, the downbeat of the measure is this. So this is a pickup, right? If I go... So, and I only go halfway with the flat five being the top note. So I change this note to there. So I have. Okay, now I transition in a little bit more of a standard pentatonic lick. I go. And again, there's. I tend to think you get a little more tension on a bend to go slightly above full. If I went, it doesn't, for me, it doesn't have as much feel as. So technically, I'm kind of going out of key in a weird way, but it, for me, that works to feel that note kind of rising, feels it's going to take off, but then you bring it back. So, so far we have. And now very standard pentatonic. So just a pull off here, 13 to 10. And again, there, a little dip below to give it some soul, not just, but, okay. So we have, cool. Now I'm gonna outline those same changes with some tapping stuff. <clears throat> Those of you that have seen me do this before, you know I kind of like to get things started by plucking a little bit with my index finger on my, on my right hand to kind of slide the left hand up and gliss into it. So I'm going to gliss up to, uh, here I'll set the pick down rather than try to talk with my mouth. I'm going to gliss up. So what's happening there is I'm going, once I gliss up, it's kind of a very, like, abstract gliss into 1013. I mean, I'm thinking like A minor pentatonic, but you kind of barely hear that. This is the downbeat once again, the accent note, okay? So, and there I'm going, okay, so. Now this time, I'm gonna change that to 22 with the pinky, so I have. Okay, so there's one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, and one of those. So, okay, now this is going to come down a fret to accommodate the A flat five chord. We're going to go. Okay, so we have. Now we're going to come down one more fret to accommodate the D, the D note being there instead of the E flat. So eventually that lick looks like this. And now what's going to happen here is we're going to finish up by just a straight A minor pentatonic. I'm going 17 to 20. And then what happens is the left hand slides up for a bend. So right there, I'm going to go for a, I slide up into a full bend. And 
I resolve to the F sharp because we're into the pre-chorus, which is based around an F sharp chord. So in total, that tapping lick will look like this. Okay, and then you're back into the pre-chorus and back into rhythm land, a heck of a lot easier than what we have there. So the solo in total would be... So there you go. Have at it, folks. By all means, send it to me if you get it down. I'd love to post it on my social media, and I'd be honored and humbled to see some of you out there nail my licks. Uh, I'd be happy to post it and get you your, your moment in the sun for the hard work. Okay, cheers. Thank you, Guitar World, for having me. Everybody, Joel Hoekstra's 13, finish line, rock on.